citizens. Yeah, all citizens are So who or what represents the government here? Why? Okay. So what sort of services does the library provide? Okay. So access to books. Yeah, on the internet. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Okay. Okay. So they offer all these different kinds of services, right? So I just want you to think about this for a second. What would happen if? We couldn't have access to the library. What would happen if there was no libraries? Okay, you wouldn't have access to learning. Okay. Okay, so you just told me that if you have no internet at home, and you, you can go to the library, right? Yeah, that's Okay. So, if you can't go to the library, then where can you go? You have to go to school. So you can go to school, okay. What is school an example of? Of these things, um, of these five things that we talked about so far, which one do you think school deals the most with? I don't want okay, so it provides a safe environment, right? But what's the what's the major function of school? What's its purpose? For us to learn. Okay. And to guide and to educate us. Okay. And so, which of these five things do you think that school might fall under? Under service. Under service. Okay. So, what if we didn't have school? Yeah, we are. We will be good. Mm hmm So you might you might not be able to read, right? All right. I understand. We wouldn't be able to do any of these things. You wouldn't be able to do any of these things. Yeah. So you think that school, well, let's just say education, is necessary yeah. for everything? Just about. Yeah. Okay, tell me why. Because, like, everything. Without education, you can read, write, do math, or you can't do the job. Type of job. Half of these jobs require at least a high school diploma. Okay. Like, we wouldn't be able to work and make money. Well, not all jobs. I love that you guys are talking to me right now. Like, I'm crazy. Like, I can't. You can become. Nah, nah, not all. Even, like, you're like, my dad, all jobs. Like, my mom was, um, my mom has, um, kid. Well, she still had to go to um, the school to get entrepreneur. Well, my mom was eighth in high school, but she went yeah. to like a little nursing college. Mm -hmm. She went there and now she was CNA. Okay, so excellent. So okay. But that's still like a type of form of education that she did. So what I'm trying to sh trying to talk to you guys about is actually this is kind of a, a pre exercise before you actually do your writing, but. What you just talked to me about, so you said you, you, you might need internet access, right? Yeah. If you, and if you can't go to a library like, and you can't go to school. Like, even if like, we didn't have internet access at all, we would still need to go to school to see, like, because yeah, the textbooks we tell us. But if we didn't have the library, then how are we going to read the book? And if we didn't have school, how are we going to get the book? Excellent. So, okay, keep that in the back of your mind. Before, I want you to flip over your sheet to the other side. Okay, we're going to fill out this, this bracket real quick, but before we do that, I want to point out two things that I noticed that I think were really good habits that you guys both demonstrated while you guys were working together. Okay, so when we first walked in, there was kind of this like awkward silence, right? We, we had this like two minutes where like we were trying to figure out who was going to share out from a note card, right? And then we shared out together, and then we started building up. And then I saw Miss Hunter start taking a turn. She started reading, okay? And she read, and then you filled out answers. And then the next time, you read, and she did it. I didn't prompt you guys to do that. I didn't tell you you had to do that. You took that upon yourselves to separate what you, your workload to make sure that you guys were doing it as best as possible. The other thing I saw is that you guys were moving forward, but you were also checking back. 
So you were looking forward and you were like, well, economic stability fits here, but it doesn't fit here. And we already used maintain peace, so it can't be maintain peace, okay? So those are really good habits that you're both already doing that I really want to congratulate you on, because that's awesome. So snaps for that, okay? All right, so let's look at P. What's our first purpose of government? What was our first example? What was the first example? Oh, on the scenario, we maintain peace. Yeah, maintain peace, okay? So our first purpose of government is to maintain peace. All right, Ms. Hunter, what about the second one? Um, resolve. Resolve what? Conflict. Resolve conflicts. Excellent. Okay. Ms. Lee, what about for our third one? Economy. Economic what? I mean, economic uh, stability. Stability. Our fourth one? Um, safety and security. Safety and security. And our fifth one. Service. Service or services. Okay, so make sure you've got that filled out on the back of your sheet. when we did on the sheet, let's do this piece together. Okay, so we have one example on the front of the sheet of people maintaining peace. Okay, the police officers go in to break up the riot. What's another example of how the government might try to maintain the peace? So, the government's role is to maintain peace, right? They don't want conflict, right? They want everyone to be happy and to work together. I know, like, when I, um, when I, the altercation. When my ex-boyfriend called the police, they had given me a well, they had given him still we all. Okay. So they get so there was a restraining order. Okay. So what what did he get the restraining order for? What half like what what rule did he break? He kept on playing with him first thing you know. Okay. So in our society, what do what do we have that protects us from other people trying to hurt us? Okay, and what are they doing? What are the police doing? What's their job? Okay, and how, what rules do they have to follow? So we have a set of things that you can't break. What are they? What do we, call, what do we actually call those rules? Well, that's a great example, Bill of Rights, okay? But let's think smaller, okay? So if you are if you attack someone you might get charged with assault mm -hmm. okay because you're doing what what are you breaking the law excellent yes so okay so you're breaking the law so we have laws why you gonna have an example like stealing because it's got i don't want it to be that easy come on all right if so you steal and you go to jail what are you doing? breaking the law Exactly. Okay, so you're breaking the law, right? So laws might be an example of how we maintain peace. So through laws. Wait, what are we writing down there? Where's the example column under the P? It says create your own scenario. Yeah. The create your own example. Okay, so we would put here oh, right. through laws we maintain peace. Okay, okay and together. I want you to try to come up with an example for each of these five purposes, okay? That is not on the first page. It doesn't necessarily have to be just inside of our school.